Now we start installing the main wall reinforcement. We weld rebar spacers to the piles and line them to the axis lines. With all the spacers in place, we can start putting the pre-made rebar cages on top of them. At every angle change, we cut the rebar ends so the next cage can sit flush and follow the new line. With the last cage in place, we move straight into bending the corner bars. Each corner has a custom angle, so shaping the bars on site is the only way to get every bend right. Once all the corners are in place, we tie each corner bar with steel wire. Three ties on one cage and three on the other. And then we tack weld the rebar cages to the pile rebars, so everything stays locked in place and can't shift. For extra stability, we add diagonal rebars to the piles. These stop the top of the cages from twisting or tilting because we don't want anything moving once the spacers go in. We set it plumb with the bottom spacer because together they show the exact edge of the wall. And we repeat the same process on all the piles. These piles act as our locking points because once the cages are tied to them, nothing can move. 